Man, the weather last night was just horrible. I've been in a few storms before, but uh, this one takes the cake. The rain started around dinner time, and it just got worse when I went to bed at 8 or 9. Um, I was all cozy and tucked in, so it kind of lulled me to sleep, but at 2 in the morning, the wind picked up. It was just crazy and wild. I could hear big branches breaking all around me. I had to tie my rain fly down really tight, even put water bottles on the ends to stop it from flapping around. Inside, I had to tie the hammock together so I was rolled up like a little sausage. Even at that, the rain was being blown right through the bug netting. I ended up wearing all my rain gear to bed. I still got soaked in the morning. Needless to say, I have to kind of wear dry my clothes today. Also known as the KBR Trail. It is, uh, to my knowledge, North America's longest rail trail pathway. It's a multi use pathway, so you can see horses and ATVers on here, lots of hunting, lots of bear, cougar. Uh, we've got some moose in here and some elk, so a little bit of everything. It's, uh, it's an amazing, typical rail trail, 2% grade. It's also known for Bulldog Tunnel, which is a one kilometer long tunnel. Pretty crazy. It's also got a lot of washboard from the ATV ears on here. But everyone gets along, we all use a trail, it's all fun. Good a day as any 
to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old one's gone under the knife, and I can feel the sun. I just stumbled upon a gentleman named Dave from Nelson, or at least started in Nelson, riding the KVR. Primarily a road rider. This is the first time that he's been going off road, and he's riding the Chilliwack. But he's just on an old mountain bike carrying bare minimum stuff. All he had was a little inexpensive hammock with him and a rain fly, and that's it. He was just sleeping in the cycling clothes. Just goes to prove that you can do stuff like this on pretty much minimal gear. You know, albeit he was a little cold and wet, but uh, he said he was having a good time and just uh, motoring along. Good on you, Dave. Good luck to you in your cycling and bike packing adventures. So, wherever you are, man, have fun. When I feel the wind on my side stop. It's uh, been raining pretty hard for a bit. It's just let up for a moment, but uh, getting close to Tulamine. This is a little lake just uh, north of Otter Lake, so we'll be going past Otter Lake soon. And uh, onward ho. A few washouts along the trail, but uh, in general it's uh, pretty fun. So let's go. Well, something's got to give today. It's a good day today and not tomorrow. There's no time to borrow today. Well, something's got to give today. It's a good day today. It's a good. It's a good
reaching for the